How's it going guys? This is PG here. And today we're going to do a little bit of PvP with our Hunter class build. Again, this is the newest build we have. And I just thought it'd be nice if I showed you guys exactly, you know, what this Hunter build can do. Uh, the only video this Hunter has been in is the video I did where I was testing out my build with my friend. Now, this is just to show you guys, the Curved Twin Blade is the award you get when you uh, get to level 1 in the Covenant of Blood. And, of course, we have that, and, um, I, I don't know, I would say it was kind of fun to get, but not really. Uh, it's one of those things where, um, the little tournament area where I got all these goddamn cracked red eye orbs is a real pain in the ass to get through, um... I'm not sure how else to put it. Um, there's a lot of people in there, and a lot of them are uh, the cheapest builds they can make so that they can win. Uh, like all poison, invisible rings, bullshit like that. But uh, anyway, we are going to go ahead and get started. Set this up real quick. <coughs> Alright, so... We have 99 Cracked Red Eye Orbs, and we're going to go ahead and start using them up. Now, keep in mind, we have 1,427 souls. It doesn't hurt to see how many we have at the end of the video, right? Just a little bit of a gauge to see how much you get per match, based on what happens and who they are. Alright, so again, this is going to be another one of those videos where I do not cut or edit it. Uh, this is because I want you guys to see, you know, just kind of the process, the things I do, and things like that. Um, well now, Crying White, um, <clears throat> uh, wasn't, probably wasn't his best moment. Anyway, we got ourselves another, uh, what are those called, Token of Spite. We got ourselves another token of spite, and we are going to uh, just go ahead and count that as a victory, I guess. He was obviously trying to do a speed run all the way up to the dragon and challenge the dragon. Um, it looks like he was not accounting for us, which is alright, it happens. Uh, keep in mind, we just jumped up to 5,000, so that means we got a little over 4 grand for that. But it did cost us a red eye orb, which is kind of shitty. And keep in mind, you cannot buy cracked red eye orbs. Uh, you have to go in and fight more of these Coven of Blood fuckers and uh, get them yourself. So, with that in mind, hopefully... Um, actually, it would be kind of cool if I just uh, went all the way through 99 cracked red eye orbs. Maybe uh, showing my original... Uh, overall soul level, um, soul memory, and then the resulting soul memory after killing maybe, I don't know, I figure I'd kill two out of three hosts, maybe, I don't know. A lot of these are going to be like two or three on ones, I can already tell, um, which is fine, because the most popular areas for people to get invaded are the areas in which people summon. So, here we go. We got a little cowardly host running away from us, which is totally fine. <clears throat> uh, keep in mind, we are at, I would say, 28% when it comes to our overall weight with this build, which is awesome. Uh, it gives us a lot of opportunities when it comes to just being faster and more agile, which we definitely take advantage of a lot of the time. I've recently been debating on switching my gauntlets. I'm using the Bone King's gauntlets, or whatever they're called, and I'm really just using them because they look good. I've been debating switching over to the Shadow set, since I already have the Shadow uh, pants on, and the Shadow gauntlets actually look pretty cool. Now, if you guys will notice, I have switched over, and uh, I leveled up an entire Pyromancy glove just so that I could use... Uh, great Combustion and uh, other Pyromancies like that. Um, I got rid of my Great Magic Barrier. Uh, the reason I got rid of Great Magic Barrier is because we have a Magic Shield. And uh, it blocks, what, like 96.2% of damage from uh, all magic. 
So, if I can't dodge it and I can't block it, chances are, fuck it, I deserve to get hit by it. I figured I don't need a Great Magic Barrier. So, we replaced Great Magic Barrier with Great Combustion. I tested it out a little bit in the arena, and it is actually pretty fucking helpful to have. Considering most people roll towards you when you start to uh, cast a Pyromancy, because they assume you're trying to throw something at them. Or you're trying to uh, use the giant pillars of flame and shit like Firestorm. And uh, all in all, I would say five or six people rolled right into it. And although the Pyromancy Glove needs nothing, all you, do, all you need is your Fire Seeds and your Attunement Slots and you can be a Pyromancer. It is also a little helpful if you have some faith, which this build does, because it boosts the level of your Pyromancy Flame. It gives it uh, a little parameter bonus. Um, I believe our parameter bonus is something like plus 100 or something like that. Uh, right now, we have tried to invade too quickly after coming back, and there we go, that fixed it. All you really gotta do is wait a minute, and it usually corrects itself. Now we are two duels in, and we have 10,000 souls. That's another five grand in our pocket. Pretty easy. So far, so good. We haven't come across anything too difficult, too challenging. I'm also kind of impressed that uh, the red, or uh, the blue sentinels, I mean, haven't tried to fuck with me at all. Uh, as you guys saw in my first video with my hunter, the blue sentinels will not leave me the fuck alone. They love me. They want to be my best friend. And uh, I'm not even against it. Uh, the blue sentinels are possibly the worst covenant in Dark Souls. They have the shittiest players in their, uh, in their little repertoire. Um, I don't think I've ever really fought against a blue that was impressive or good. Uh, that being said, this is a hunter build, and uh, my overall goal is to kill people as quickly as possible, regardless of what they're doing. Uh, a lot of people are going to cry about this and be like, oh, you're an asshole. Probably. I mean, yeah, I just ran in and murdered that guy. But this is invading. This is what a red invader is supposed to do. He's supposed to find you as fast as possible and relentlessly attack you until you die. That's all it is. There's nothing really to it. You know, you show up, you set a trap if you need to, and other than that, you hunt people and you kill them. That being said, um, I don't even think I got any hate mail from uh, this particular video segment. Um, yeah, I don't think I did. Uh, a lot of these guys are either totally understanding of what a red phantom is supposed to do, or they just got their ass kicked and didn't feel like talking about it. Either way, it works out pretty well for us. We don't have to deal with any silly crying babies. And we get to uh, fuck people up. So here we are in Lubert, Luffert, Lubert, something like that. I don't know how to say your name. We're at 13,000 souls already, which is uh, pretty fucking good considering we started this with barely anything. Um, I'm not even really sure what I'm going to do with all these souls I collect. I think, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to start buying Titanite, since that seems to be what I do every time I get souls. Um, I think all of my other builds, because I PvP with them very often, uh, I think what I do the most, I just purchase some. Oh, uh, he's behind me, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's fucking hiding. Anyway, I purchased Titanite from uh, the blacksmith's daughter, and uh, from that, that's kind of how I uh, just level up random shit whenever I get it. And, you know, when I make these videos for you guys where I use a random weapon or some unlikely-ass weapon or a weapon combo or something like that, uh, a lot of the times it takes Titanite to up these weapons. Um, most things that up with Twinkling Titanite, I try to steer away from just because they're so hard to get and great job healing there we go another smelter demon idiot down go ahead and heal in his face because that's what he wanted to do <coughs> alright so another token of spite couple more souls in our pocket 
So yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and start buying Titanite with all this uh, extra solage I'm getting. There's really no point in just keeping it. Um, I think overall, once I get 99 of uh, the Titanite shards, large shards, and chunks, I'll probably just start letting my souls compile. I'm not really sure. Oh no. Have we run out of people to play with already? Oh no. Going right back. Alright, not bad. It is uh, it is a Saturday right now. And as an invader, you should always keep in mind what day of the week it is and what time it is because that kind of affects how many people you can and can't invade. A lot of the times if you try to invade someone at like fucking noon on a Monday, you're not going to get shit because there's no one here. There's no one playing. That's a really weird time for other people. That being said, you might also end up in somebody from Australia's world or some shit like that because it's like nighttime for them. And they're just getting in some Dark Souls before they quit. Poke, poke, and roll away from the host. Alright, we have our first little two-on-one. We're too agile and we're too fucking fast for these guys. So we're just going to run away. Now, this is what I mean by setting a trap. We're going to go ahead, let them see that we're here. Roll out of the way, poke, and run. And look at them throwing out random backstabs. I really thought the steps were shorter than that. I thought I was going to get over the steps, but that's alright. Now, although this guy likes to turtle, he also seems to really enjoy casting. So, we're going to go ahead, weaken him, and we're going to let those two guys deal with him. Notice how the host runs away the minute his friend dies. Isn't that sad? Alright, now we're going to put Great Heal to good work. Go ahead and heal up. The host really could have uh, come in with maybe two or three swings and taken us out. This shows that he's not confident in his fighting style. And he's fucking behind me. Yeah, he is. Alright, here we go. Come in with a running attack. Alright, he is off and swinging at nothing. That's cool. We're going to stay next to this warmth. Using his own enemy, or uh, his own little cast against him. And he has poisoned that katana, although that doesn't matter very much to us. We have pretty decent poison defense, I would say. And he's going to go ahead, throw out a life gem. I really should have just poked him again. I could have ended it right there. And there we go. Two on one, turned into a one on one, turned into a taunting fest, I guess. Alright, so that guy's probably a little embarrassed. That really did suck for him and his friend. Um, and again, you know, when you have a two-on-one or a three-on-one, it's perfectly acceptable to use the level to your advantage. Whether you need to hide somewhere and heal, or you need to incorporate other enemies into your attack patterns, whatever the case might be. So, here we go, one more. Now, look at that, we're already at 26,000, is that what that is? 25, 26,000? We are loading up on souls really quick here. This is actually way easier than I thought it would be. Um, I think my next rank in this covenant is uh, like 100 or something like that. I have no idea. I really wasn't paying attention. I was reading about it online. I think it goes like 100, 150, and then 500. Um, I would love to have a level 3 hunter, you know? That would be super cool, but, uh, I don't actually like how they look. Come in for a nice little backstab. Now we have this idiot here. Most people would have ran away, but we're not going to. Avoid that host. Now the host has to fight that guy. Look at that, teaming up with a dragon bro. Two on two. Give him a little poke. This guy is dead. Not going to get out of this alive. Wait for it, and poke. Now we got to get out of the way of the host. Alright. Now it's just us versus the host. And uh, he has the pursuer's... Uh, the Yeah, the pursuer shield. That is a really good shield. Luckily for us, we are really quick. And he's using a big, slow weapon. That's Dragon Tooth. That is Havel's weapon. 
And we got another host that wants to run, and it doesn't work out again. Who would have guessed? Alright, so this is the first iteration of probably a couple different videos I'm going to do for you guys where I am going to be hunting. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. It is very different from the usual setup, normal PvP that I do. Uh, of course, that means most of you or some of you will have a problem with it and think it's cheap. That's totally fine. Let me know what you guys think. I'm always open to hear. And uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.